often hear the words debt and deficit in conversations about the federal budget. But what do those words actually mean? I'm Jasmine Tucker, research analyst at the National Priorities Project, and I have answers for you. A budget deficit is determined year to year by looking at how much money the government is bringing in and comparing that to how much is being spent in a single year, we can determine whether the U.S. has broken even or whether it's running a surplus or deficit. If revenues match spending in a given year, then we have a balanced budget. If, however, we are spending more than we bring in, we have what's called a budget deficit. The national debt, on the other hand, is the sum of all our past year's deficits. And every year that the U.S. runs a deficit, that amount is added to the national debt total. If you listen to the news, you might think that budget deficits are a recent issue. But did you know that the U.S. has run a budget deficit in 45 of the last 50 years? And in recent years, budget deficits have actually been declining. In 2009, the deficit was 10% of the U.S. economy. But in 2015, the budget deficit is projected to be just 3.1%. And that's roughly the size of the average deficit over the past half century. For more about our nation's debt and deficit, check out Federal Budget 101 on MPP's website at nationalpriorities.org.